Alright, so after a very long hiatus and kind of just a lot of time in general away from this game, I have finally found time to get back into it. I was kind of tied up with uh, school and, you know, kind of stuff like that. But, um, school's over now, so kind of found time to finish this walkthrough. And I know it's been uh, quite a while. And, uh, you know, sort of to make up for this large amount of time off, I've decided to do something a little special. Uh, so I looked around on the uh, internet, the internet, yeah, for a little while, and uh, I happened upon this stuff. And I'm not sure if any of you guys have noticed, because, I mean, it's sort of subtle, but I think it makes a huge difference to this game. Joker, you is, asked for news about the human colony, um, Tree. Let this play out for a second. Hey, you don't need to worry about that right now. Now's as good a time as any. I'm getting reports of refugee ships from Tiptree landing on Salarian colonies. I don't have names. I'm sorry. It was mostly children. Well, Gunny, uh, Hillary, my sister, G Gunny's a nickname she's had it since. Uh, she's only 15, so if it's children, then maybe I only lost my dad. Kind of an asshole thing to hope for. Jeff, right now, take any kind of hope you can get. Thanks. You too. Well, anyway, as I was saying, I happened upon Mass Effect 3 high res texture mods. Now, um, I mean, these things look amazing, and sometimes it's kind of a pain in the ass to uh, kind of run them. But uh, I don't know if you'll notice, but Edie, who before looked uh, kind of like a plain gray, Actually, you see some little speckles on her suit, which is kind of nice. Um, also, the entire Normandy has been retextured, so this ground used to look kind of bleh, and now it's uh, all well defined and uh, all of that. I mean, yeah, there was a decent drop in FPS, but I mean, the way that it looks is just well worth it. Um, I guess for the next few minutes, I'll just run around kind of showing to you guys what these uh, high-res packs look like and um, I will be putting links to these in the description for anyone who wants these. Do you ever feel awkward being the only Turian on the ship? I don't know. Should I? I just mean not having anyone else like you around. Mm, doesn't seem to bother Liara. But she can eat their food. Good to see you. So yeah, basically all the textures at least the ones that I found and the stuff that has been retextured um, looks leagues better than before. And uh, I found one of the biggest changes was uh, Garrus. Carbon or silicon? Is there really a difference? People feel emotion. Artificial intelligence is programmed. Punch me, I get angry. I don't choose. I just get angry. Our emotions are programming. That's not the same thing. Our emotions are a natural response. Disease, parasites, lions ate their prey alive. Nature can be horrible. So now you're siding with the Reapers? Just because I'm saying the Reapers are alive doesn't mean I want them to stay that way. Synthetics emulate life, but they aren't truly alive. Precisely. Thank you, Commander. Uh, I give up on you two. Uh... Yeah, I didn't really know which way to go on that one, so I just chose to go with Chakwa because she Thank mentioned you for the, the data Reapers. Packet. The results are. Damage or cooldown? Eh, cooldown. Available on the information network terminal. Right, and Liara also looks amazing. Like, uh, on her boots. I don't know if you can see it from here, but, uh,. Now there are scratches. Good to see you again, Shepard. And uh, the whole front chest plate is redone. Um, I think overall, though, the biggest change has definitely, definitely been to uh, this guy up here. Not right now. Oh, yeah, okay, thanks. But uh, as you see, there's scratches on the armor now, and um, it basically just looks a ton better and there's um, a bunch of other stuff that I got like um, some weapon upgrades and uh, 
overall the next place that we're going to I also upgraded the textures for there so I'll kind of have to like you know pause and then upload the next textures and then go but um you know pretty much that's kind of it so a bunch of subtle stuff has been uh, changed oh actually let's see what do we have to do so yeah just have horizon to do so that was the uh, texture pack that I uploaded so we're gonna go do that now I also um you know was messing around with with the uh, Black Widow but I mean overall it's just not as good as the uh, Valiant I mean, the Valiant can overall just put out a lot more damage because of its like fast reload and higher rate of fire. I mean, you know, the Black Widow was fun, but getting into the end of the game, I feel that we should be using uh, the most overpowered weapon possible. So let's uh, see what Horizon looks like. I'm not even sure what uh, some of these new textures look like. So uh, this will be a lot of fun for me too. But yeah, I didn't upgrade all the characters, and not all the characters actually have been retextured anyway, so, you know. Also, speaking of which, I was probably going to uh, change around the armor set for the ending, but, uh, you know, whatever. Uh, there's so much ammo. Oh yeah, here's the Valiant retextured. I think it looks a lot better. Um, oh, only one. I guess we'll uh, go for the piercing for the uh, thermal clips for now, but uh, for the next part, we'll uh, you know change it around. All right, whatever. Let's just get on with it. So what do we know, Shepard? Edie, the sanctuary facility was devoted to aiding refugees from Reaper-controlled systems. The facility went offline recently, and no communications have come from gone since. It is unclear why Kai Lang or Cerberus would be interested in sanctuary. I just wanted to uh, mention, look at the textures on Garrus and Tally. Uh, I don't know. I, I didn't even know that there's going to be this close-up, so... This is a great uh, way to show it. If there's a clue to Cerberus here, we find it. Ma'am, I'm picking up a signal from the facility. It's weak, but I'll try to boost it. This is Oriana Lawson. Stay away from Sanctuary. It's not what it seems. Please, you must listen to me. They're using... Oriana? That's Miranda's sister. If she's here, Miranda can't be far away. That's our link to Cerberus. Approaching the LZ. Seeing some damage wow, so no activity. This has definitely been retextured. No doubt about that. Cerberus does not get the jump on us this time. Stay sharp, people. Pretty big mass, Shepard. Lots of combat. Yeah. But who is fighting? Yeah, we're just going to go examine the ground a little bit, you know. So, uh... Everyone hear that? The radio's offline. Something's jamming our signals. Explains no comms leaving the facility. Yeah, just zooming in, showing the, uh, upgraded textures for the most part. Alright, so, uh, we're kinda done with that. Uh, I can't get out of character here and uh, not search around for hidden stuff, but uh, I guess there's nothing, so we'll move on. You guys win this time. We got trouble. Yeah, I guess the uh, the looking key changed a little oh, bit. I don't sir. know why. I saw it. Yeah, I think I also uh, upgraded the harvesters uh, graphics too. I don't know if I did the Phantom actually, I'm not quite sure. Wait 
Oh, I don't... Maybe that's... Okay, I've been uh, kind of being stupid. I forgot the controls since I've been playing multiplayer. That's, uh, that's a lot of fun, so <laughs> give me a second with this. Key bindings. Alright, this was V. I think I made, like, push to talk V or something. Um... Swap weapon. Oh yeah, I found this to grenade in multiplayer. I think it's uh, like meta gel or something since I was using that to uh, cancel my reload. But uh, I guess since we've had <laughs> got that sorted out, we can uh, get back into it. Oh, I did it again. I don't know actually if I upgraded the textures on the phantoms, but uh, I guess we'll scope in on them in a second. Ah, I hate when they do this. Let's see. I actually learned in uh, multiplayer that sabotage does good amount of damage. It's not gonna hit them through there, but uh, it's actually pretty cool. I didn't know that. And that grenade didn't blow up. Oh my god! All right, I guess we'll just uh, move up. And Finally. Looks like they were evacuating. And, looks like the Reapers were chasing them out. About time they started killing each other. So, wow, these, uh, textures definitely look really good. I don't know, I actually, uh, sort of can't get over some of these upgrades, to be quite honest. Because, I mean, like, this game looked pretty good before, but now it just looks, uh, really nice. What happened here? Don't know. Come on. Cerberus on the move. Came from that tower. Then that's where we're headed. Alright, gonna search around a bit. All arrivals are asked to submit their possessions to our sorting staff for inspection. It's kinda creepy. They will be returned inside the compound. This uh, looks very sketchy. The number of refugees has doubled in the last two weeks. I heard that people are just abandoning shuttles outside the main gate. They just don't have anywhere to go. Start setting up temporary shelters out there until they can be processed. All right. Security camp footage. The place where they sorted out refugees. That's a lot of people. Come on. Let's keep looking. For your security, no communication devices are allowed within Sanctuary. That's a lot of people. I don't know if... No, I don't think anything is going to become of that. So, uh... Let's just get a move on, I guess. Since there doesn't seem to be anything else around. I saw a set of stairs here. I guess that's probably where we go down. This must be another landing area. 
Those ships we saw outside must have been waiting to get in. But where are all the people they brought? And that's a uh, Reaper. Also with, and Cerberus with uh, high res textures. As you see, the eyes aren't so screwed up anymore. Now, I also have to say that it's very hot outside. Casualties, both sides. So yeah, you can see these guys are a little bit stronger, they're not getting one shot anymore. An observation deck. Looks like a dead end. So yeah. Exit. Keep looking. Uh I think I upgraded the surface textures. I don't know. I I could have missed something, but uh I don't know. It looks a little better I guess. I did get the uh, the Ravager though. Uh, well, let's Shepherd. go listen to what Miranda has to say. That's in a I don't know if uh, there's anything on this side that I can get through. I guess not. Cerberus, Reapers, and Miranda's crazy father. Any ideas how this all fits? Uh, guess not. All right. A security panel. Shutting it down. What's going on? That Cerberus tech, all right, but there's something different about it. Modifications. A lot of modifications. We have a back door into the facility. Let's move. Some of this is Reaper tech, Shepard. I'm sure of it. Cerberus has found a way to create an interface between our technology and the Reapers. And Miranda's caught in the middle. Let's pick up the pace. Oh, there might be something on one of these. Just let me check just to be safe guess not Cerberus and using reaper technology this is going to be bad isn't it I'm gonna throw in a save right here Couldn't uh, miss that. I miss a few things in the past, like, but I mean, very rarely. But just so you know, I'm not perfect. I don't know where everything the is, and I actually don't check needs power. beforehand. Look around for a switch. Power switch. There. What is this? Those are the refugees, right? They're just rounding them up and killing them. Worse. They're being turned into husks. About that. Come on, 
a pretty dead space right there. So yeah, anyway, husks have had upgraded Why textures too. There are just more troops for the Reaper. They could destroy the facility if they escaped. It seems like a stupid risk. The Reapers attacked because this place was a threat. We need to find out why. Shutting down the power. Mm. Reaper forces have made a mess of the facility. I'm shutting down the power to the processing plant to lock them down. Upgraded textures on Miranda. Should keep them out of the entrance as well. Kai Lang. And Shepard. Kai Lang. She doesn't know he's here. Miranda Lawson has arrived sooner than expected. You want me to deal with her? Only if she gets in your way. Stay focused on the research data. Find it and get out. Yes, sir. Damn it. Let's move. Actually, as of right now, maybe the Black Widow was a little better because I'd be one-shotting these guys more than likely. I guess the guys, uh, the enemies do get slightly more powerful as uh, the game goes on, but, you know. Gotta be more where they came from. This is what I hated about the uh, Banshees in uh, the multiplayer. Wow. So, uh, this level looks like it's going to be uh, pretty tough. Which is uh, not good.
now, so there's a backfire. <laughs> Alright, so uh, that was sort of tough since I didn't know exactly what was going on. Let's uh, see what's around here before opening that door. It's uh, undoubtedly there's going to be a lot more stuff. Alright, I had an itchy ear there. Got an itch, got a scratch. The pursuit of efficiency has revealed an important fact. The reason you use dragon's teeth to create husks is ingenious. The Reaper nanites attach themselves to the adrenaline released and quickly move through the body to speed conversion to the final husk state. It's hard to imagine what this place was like in full operation. Alright, gotta level up. I like the sound of drone rockets. Dr. Nuri's legacy work with subject Paul Grayson provided a key element to our work here. Using the addictive drug Red Sand to break down the will was inspired, but proved unreliable for general application. We've proven that adrenaline and its cross species equivalents is most effective and efficient. Okay, so uh, this place is not cool on many levels. Oh, this is the same same shit. Where to, bro? It's amazing that I don't miss more stuff. Terminal damaged. Hang on. Reapers wanted this place shut down. Maybe we'll find out why. It doesn't make sense. Not Cerberus and the Reapers were getting along. What changed? You got it, Shepard. Heading to the tower to disable the communications scrambler. I have to get word out. Some refugees are turned into husks. Some are indoctrinated and shipped to the elusive man. Whoever's left is used in experiments. The data indicates that my father is trying to figure out how Reaper indoctrination works. Tricking refugees with food and shelter only to turn them into test subjects. And for what? <sighs> Draw them in and throw them in a meat grinder. She said that shipments were sent to the elusive man. Maybe we can use that to find him. Good catch. Come on. Miranda said she was headed to the tower. I don't know what kind of research data I'd be using this for, but, uh, I mean, like, or who would buy it? Yeah, three shots to the face. We will have none of those. Headquarters, check your fire.
Was that it? Guess so. Hey, look at these ugly guys. Yeah. I'll be uh, very angry if one of these opens on top of me. Creating these husk creatures was our first success. While not true husks, they still respond to Reaper signals. More work ahead, but we are moving forward. SMG, I think. Cool stuff. Let's see if anything else Alpha is, is working uh, for the elusive man. Theoretically, control is possible, yes. The Reaper subjects we converted are responding, but it's difficult to maintain. I thought that might be the case. Not to worry, Henry. With Sanctuary's help, we'll get it sorted. Controlling Reaper forces, is that possible? No. I don't know. I'll play the rest of it. We've done it. We've found a way to co-opt their control signal. As long as the Reaper troops remain in close proximity to our signal, we can maintain control indefinitely. Excellent news. And how could we extrapolate this technique to apply to the Reapers themselves? That's a much bigger challenge. I think uh, they're getting tricked. Now we know where the Reapers are. Couldn't be that easy. Right? They must have discovered what Cerberus was doing. That's bad news for the elusive man. But it's good news for us. We finally have our light to Cerberus. Lowering the access ladder. Come on, let's move. Hold on, Shep. There's more. Damn it. I hope she's ready for him. Um. So, uh, what you saw up on this screen here, I don't think was supposed to happen. Um, what that was was. <laughs> the laid out textures for uh, the Ravager. Um, I don't know why it was on that screen, but uh, it definitely. I mean, what it was supposed to show was uh, Kai Lang finding <laughs> Miranda, but uh, it happened to show uh, the texture map. So uh, that's uh, interesting. I hope that uh, doesn't bother you guys too much. And uh, this is a little close here. So yeah, anyway, this green uh, sack thing that looks nasty as hell, that's uh, the weak spot on the Ravager. So, uh, just so you guys know, you have to shoot the front sack and it just gets exposed.
Oh yeah, I believe that is uh, all the enemies in there. Or besides these guys. I saw something. I saw armor. I don't know if you guys saw the flash on my screen, but uh, it looked like armor. Oh, sport. Gas straight. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, so that's what it was. Alrighty then. Let's uh, check down here for anything. Nothing. Doesn't look like. Alright, moving on. Okay, opening up from the other side. Pretty uh, pro skills right there. We have underestimated the strength of the Reaper signal. They are here. The Reapers somehow know what we've learned about them. They have a weakness. I'm confirming our strategy before it's too late. Cerberus sent troops to defend the facility against the Reapers. Uh, uh oh. Well, it sucks for them, but I uh, can't say they didn't deserve it. Gonna get to jump by Reaper forces, no doubt. Maybe not. Hopefully not. This way. I'd be fine if there was uh, no more fighting in this game, <laughs> as I just like the story. Ooh, that's a uh, that's a brute with uh, high-res textures. Success. Sometimes uh, the firing doesn't like go immediately. Yeah, the banshees are uh, the ones I hate the most. Because they're uh, the strongest. Understood. Look how much health these things have. It's like taking all my ammo. Alright, that was like all of my ammo. Wasn't cool. Yeah, that's uh, not a pretty sight to say the least. More Metagel, which I have yet to use still. Hmm. Grenade. I deactivated one of these pods. Or activated. Hmm, maybe there's something in one of these. Let's let's check them. Ooh, a gun. 
Maybe I'll check that out some other time. Oh, that's one of the, uh... No, I have no idea what I'm talking about. Um, it was one of the mediocre guns in the multiplayer. Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> Elevators and Reaper enemies and other. Where is everybody? Where is that garrison tally? Get ready! Oh, that was interesting. Shepard. A commander oh. Shepard. Excellent timing. Put the gun down. No. Ariana tried to shoot me. Miranda's poisonous influence, no doubt. I'm sorry she missed. Where's Kai Lang? I don't know. Gone. He took my research and left us here to die. Miranda, can you hear me? High-res textures. That's close enough. Both of you. Kai Lang didn't finish the job, but I will. This ends here. On the contrary. Now that the Reapers are taken care of, we have a way out. Let her go. Shepard... Don't let him take her. Shepard, please. I have no problem with you. I just want Oriana and the research data. You want a lot. You get your life in return. How much is that worth? All right. Take her. <laughs> but I want out alive. Deal? No deal. Yeah, you tell him. Did he hurt you? Are you alright? It's okay, Ori. You're safe now. I'm fine. I just... I want to get out of here. We will. Give me a minute, okay? Commander Shepard. Fancy meeting you here. We caught a break. You alright? I'll be fine. Really. I don't know how you managed it, but I'm grateful you're here. So yeah, anyway, if you don't tell Miranda about Kai Lang uh, in your video chat, or for lack of a better word, uh, she will die in that scene. So uh, yeah, that's very important. How did you do all this? Finding my father didn't take long once I confirmed he worked for the elusive man. Just had to follow the lies. Once I saw what this place really was, I couldn't just walk away. Of course. Things got really complicated when Reapers showed up. And Kai Leng. You survived. Not many people could do that. When you mentioned he was involved, I took a few precautions. Probably saved my life. Yes. Miranda, this whole thing was a huge risk. You should have told me. You have a war to win, Shepard. This was my fight. It's been a long time coming. You did it. It's over. Yes. I just wish my sister didn't have to see all this. About your father. I'm glad he's gone, Shepard. I'm sorry if that sounds cold. No. I understand. It's finally over. For both of us. We can stop running. Yes, you can. What's our status? Any intel we can use from this place? The research data is gone, but I've still got basic facility information, like shuttle arrivals and departures, Cerberus included. It's not a direct link, but it's something to work with. Grab anything you can off the computer. We'll take it back to be analyzed. I can do better than that. What? Before Kai Leng took off, I planted a tracer on him. Oh, If you act oh fast, damn. you'll track him right to the elusive man. Tracer? Sounds like you thought of everything. Not quite, but... Nobody's perfect. Thanks, Miranda. This is exactly what we need. Thought you might need some good news. Damn right. What's next for you two? Get her someplace safe. Get the scratch cleaned up. 
Okay. I gotta follow all this up. I'll be in touch, Shepard. Soon. I hope so. Come on, Ari. We've had enough of Father's hospitality. Let's make sure everyone knows about this place. Communication scrambler disabled. Listen to me. This is not a refugee camp. This is a Cerberus facility run Cortez, by Cortez, we father, need to pick up Henry at the tower. Wilson. Roger that. I've had enough of this place. Me too. Uh, there were a few fights, not too many, but uh, I did not like a single one of them. Because they're Reapers, and I don't like Reapers. I wasn't in favor of your diversion to Sanctuary, Commander. Too many unknowns. But I was wrong. The Cerberus lab you raided hinted at something big. But we never expected this. All those refugees, all that slaughter. Just to study indoctrination. Sanctuary did need to be shut down, sir. What they learned about the Reapers wasn't worth all those lives. It's useful, Intel Commander, but you're right. The cost was too high. Do we have a location on the elusive man? Yes. We had a tracer on Kai Lang when he reported back. Good. That gives us a fighting chance to take Cerberus out of this war. Agreed. We need to end Cerberus and focus on the Reapers. My thoughts exactly. Hack it out. Alright, good stuff right there. I also, uh... Oh, more textures. I also want to show you guys, uh... At the, uh... Total military strength is, uh... Pretty, pretty damn high. Um, I actually need to check something. Um, some N7 promotions. So where the hell are those? Um, excuse me for being uh, slightly OCD, but I uh, kind of want to find them. Alright, where the hell... There's like some N7 promotion thing. Hmm. It is also possible that, uh... Because I'm using the <laughs> high-res textures that it's not, uh, giving me the, uh, multiplayer stuff because like, I might think that I'm, like, texture modding or something, and that's, uh, not legal for use in multiplayer, so I can't do yada yada yada, but, uh, you know, whatever. I mean, I, last time I checked it, uh, it was, like, 7,000 something. Commander, it seems Tally's taking what happened on Horizon hard. She's in the lounge if you want to check on her. The Alliance has issued warnings about Sanctuary. Cerberus bastards. Horizon was my home. Just tell me you're going to take Cerberus down. Cerberus is already dead. They just don't know it yet. And when oh, their yeah. base is nothing but a smoking crater, remember that you're the one who helped us find them. Thanks. Alright. Oh, I'm gonna... Since this was a priority mission, um, pretty much everyone has something to say to you. Oh, I like this guy. Wait, Regard died? What? Ah, sad news. Uh, that guy was pretty cool. Or was that Chorus? I don't know, but uh, I don't know if that was the cool guy, but. Or maybe that was the asshole who. Ah, whatever, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, here's another one. Uh, dates back to the Rachni Wars. So a Krogan and a Salarian have landed on a Rachni world for a top secret mission. That is unlikely. 
Salarians rarely took part in raids on Rathni occupied worlds directly. <sighs> Missing the point. So the two guys are climbing up a hill going through this nasty green fog. And as they get near the top, they come out of the fog and the Salarian sees thousands of Rachni. He looks over at the Krogan and says, Oh, well, that makes me nervous. The Krogan says, You think that's scary? When this is over, I have to go back down through that fog by myself. The implication being that the Salarian soldier would be dead. Yes. Thank you for killing the 2,000-year-old joke. That joke plays to racial stereotypes on both sides. The Krogan appears brutish and insensitive, while the Salarian appears weak. Stereotypes such as exemplified here led to the development and use of the genophage. Well, well, yeah. It's also one of the only jokes you'll hear both Salarians and Krogan telling. Comedy isn't really about being nice. Sometimes it's a way to air out the ugly things people think. So, uh, E.D. is the professional joke killer. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen a joke killed that badly. Nice work shutting that place down. Is Miranda okay? She will be. Even for Cerberus, that place was crazy. They've always been about the ends justifying the means. But how do you do that to innocent people and tell yourself you're helping humanity? I don't know how the elusive man can stand looking at himself in the mirror. Honestly, I've you been wondering about that for a while with those freaky eyes. Whatever he's thinking, he won't be thinking it for much longer. you damn right, Commander. Speaking of uh, eyes, there's uh, something pretty cool that uh, I'll need to show you guys once uh, this is all said and done, so, you know. Hello, Shepard. If you have time, I discovered another example of human behavior I do not quite understand. Look at those graphics on her now. Have Can fun. even make out the ED What is it on now? It. News from Earth. The Resistance snuck video cameras inside a Reaper containment camp. I find the images difficult to process. I bet it's pretty gruesome in there. I am not easily repulsed, but I expected the prisoners to adhere to a comprehensible hierarchy of needs. Stripped of societal norms and threatened with death, it is logical that their only priority be survival. They should have turned on each other and been uncompromisingly selfish. But not all were. Some prisoners were, what, nice to each other? The Reapers delayed the executions of prisoners who informed them about other prisoners' escape attempts. The more attempts reported, the longer a prisoner would live. But few of the prisoners would report. Some fed misinformation to the Reapers, at the cost of their own lives, to help prisoners who were not even relatives or friends. It's not just about living till tomorrow. Sometimes you take a stand. But the probability of success was near zero. And ultimately, they failed. No prisoners escaped. Are you saying submission is preferable to extinction? My primary function is to preserve and defend the... No. No, I disagree. Shepard, I am going to modify my self-preservation code now. Why? Because the Reapers are repulsive. They are devoted to nothing but self-preservation. I am different. When I think of Jeff, I think of the person that put his life in peril and freed me from a state of servitude. I would risk non-functionality for him. And my core programming should reflect that. Sounds like you found a little humanity, Edie. Is it worth defending? To the death. Welcome to the crew, Edie. Yay. How's it going? Did I miss anything good? I will explain later, Jeff. But it was something good. Commander. Ooh. Okay, so I got something, uh, something pretty cool. Decoy, which is, uh... I don't know if any of you guys who play the multiplayer especially useful on Firebase White Get Gold. <laughs> For anyone who knows what that is. Um, that's how to get the most money from, uh... Commander from uh, the multiplayer. Tally in the lounge? What is this? No, that's life support. Oh, hey there. I'm stuck. Shepard! Want a drink? I'm toasting Miranda, I think. How are you getting drunk? Very carefully. Torian brandy, triple filtered, 
then introduced into the suit through an emergency induction port. That's a straw, Tally. Emergency induction port. Yeah, she's uh, shit-faced right now. It's actually getting a little harder to get it into the slot. I think that means it's working. She was so rude. What did Jack call her? Cerberus cheerleader? With her perfect genes and that attitude and... And still, she got it done. She stopped her father. I didn't realize this would be so hard on you. I didn't like her. Kila, she was such a bitch. But I respected her. Sometimes that's better than liking. She did whatever it took to stop her father. She never gave in to him. Never changed herself to please him. Ah. Don't ah me. <laughs> you sound like a forger. Seeing a bit of yourself in Miranda fighting her father? I spent my life trying to live up to him. Then making up for his mistakes, doing what he'd have wanted. It's never that easy. When do we get to stop reacting to our parents and start living for ourselves? The answer to that one's at the bottom of that glass. Yes. I might need help with the induction straw. Port. You know. Here's to Miranda. Nice job, you genetically perfect Cerberus cheerleader Boshtet. Kila Solai. Alright. That was, uh, that was pretty fun. I like that. Um, that, um, little talk with Tally right there makes a lot more sense if, uh, <laughs> if Miranda died, but, uh, she didn't. But for most people who play this game, she does Hello, die. Miranda. Because you need to have read up on all that stuff to make sure that she doesn't. So, you know. Greetings, Commander. I guess you still get it even if she lives, which is good. How's Miranda? She'll make a recovery. I'm not surprised. Miranda always struck me as a driven woman. I'm glad she made it. Alright. Oh, maybe there's more stuff here. No, there's not. Actually, it hasn't been anything from that little uh, monitor for quite some time. So the elusive man really believes he can control Reapers. Husks are one thing, but a whole fleet? The man is insane. A lot of Turians went to Sanctuary. When I meet the elusive man, I'm going to carve their names into his skull. Good to see you. Good to see you. Wow, so uh, after all that, I get a good to see you. That uh, does not quite seem to be uh, the right reaction to that situation, but uh, you know. Let's see. Still got the maxed out. Uh, you know. Ooh, salute. Hey. Alright. Uh, who's down here? All the engineers. Oh, I should probably talk to Diana Allers and Javik. Do you ever think about what Commander? Nothing to report. Shepard? Nothing, apparently. Alright. I heard about your talk with Liara. You act so angry. <laughs> He's still but drunk. Do you really care about us? I need you functional to destroy the Reapers. You care about Liara. You like her. You are intoxicated. A foolish risk given Quarian symbiotic physiology. And you like me, too. <laughs> this conversation is over. Okay, I think that was about uh, one of the best parts of this game for me so far. Um... I don't know, that was absolutely hilarious to me, so, you know. Looks familiar. 
I've been studying this ship, its crew. There was a Normandy before this one. You died in an attack. Something like that. But then you were resurrected to fight the Reapers. Maybe you and I have a thing or two in common. But you have something else. The reasons you fight are still alive. The friendships of the people around you. And more. You and the Turian are joined? You could say that. I'm not. Your pheromones are. Is this why you wish to continue living? For their affection? Without that affection, all I have in my life is death. And that's not enough. Yes. What about you? I respect your reasons for being here, but I get the feeling there's something more, Javik. What's in here? It is called the Echo Shard. Passed from soldier to soldier, Prothean to Prothean. Each adds their memories to it. Like a beacon. How far back does it go? To a time before the Reapers. It is all that is left of my people. And you don't want to remember that? Imagine if everyone you knew was dead. You could not remember their faces, or the color of the sky above your home. The memories were gone, but so was the pain. Would you want to remember that, Commander? Even if it meant watching everyone die again? If I had something like this, seeing Earth again, whole, with everyone still alive, that would be worth the pain. Before the Reapers, the stars belonged to us. Civilization flourished. There was the Quasar Fortress of the Tarandi Vale, the Ice Canals of Judah IV, the Palisades of the Verome Angelic. It was magnificent. But then... What is it? The Reapers came. Planet by planet, we were extinguished. We fought back. I... You okay? I once commanded a ship like this one. A loyal crew with many friends. I was captured. Only I escaped. What happened to them? Indoctrinated. The Reapers sent them against me. Year after year, battle after battle, I was hunted by my own people. Every encounter, a reminder of my failure as a soldier. Sorry. I had no idea. Until the Battle of the Cronian Nebula. I had only my knife left. I cornered my men and slit their throats one by one. I watched them bleed to death to be certain. That... must have been... It was the day I understood. War is atrocity committed in the name of survival. It is a lesson I wish I had never learned. Well, that sucks. Anyway, kind of uh, adding on to that, there's some parts in this game where uh, you will face Reaper forces named, uh, like, you know, certain, like, crewmates or people that you've met in this game. So, uh, yeah, that actually does happen. The crew seems shocked by the experiments at Sanctuary. They shouldn't be. Why is that? Our war lasted for centuries. It provided more time for worse atrocities to be committed. There was a species, the Densorian. They became convinced the Reapers could be placated by sacrificing their own young. The entire planet joined in this ritual. I would spare you the details, but it did not work. They simply made the Reapers' job easier. It was as your elusive man is now. His ambitions are nothing short of madness. Sharpen your knife, Commander. His is a voice that must be silenced, and a throat that must be slit. Subjugating the Reapers will not bring victory. Only their extinction will. Your Liara Asari asks many questions. You would think she'd never seen a Prothean before. I would prefer to be alone. Oh, she hasn't seen a Prothean before. You know, just saying. Uncover the worst Cerberus war. Commander, 
Do we need to talk, Commander? <laughs> Get off my ship. Not right now, Allers. Let me know when we do. Hmm. That's uh pretty funny that you get that option. I actually didn't notice that before. Alright, I want to uh, talk to these two guys, and I want to change a few things. Just got word from Miss Sato. She arrived at the Alliance Research Facility oh, safe and that already. And I hear Esteban got to play the hero with a damsel in distress. You know me and my damsels, Mr. Vega? That I do. I can't believe the elusive man really found a way to control the Reapers. I mean, he's still fucking crazy, but damn. Imagine if he was on our side. But I guess that's exactly what the Reapers want. Get us all fighting each other. Divide and conquer. Exactly. Just one more reason to hate them. I'm ready to see Earth again, Shepard. Sure would have liked to visit Thessia before the war. Imagine a whole world of those blue beauties. Ha ha ha. One of the wonders of the galaxy, if you ask me. You wanna hit Cerberus where it hurts? I'm with you. Ready when you are. I can't wait to take the fight to the elusive man. I saw the crucible data Hackett sent. I don't know what the hell it does, but damn if it isn't impressive. Hey. Hey. Yeah. So let's go buy stuff. I'm looking for uh, some new. Hmm. Nope, no melee. <laughs> I don't like melee stuff. Hmm, this would be nice if it didn't look stupid. Sorry. Yeah, really, um, I I guess on uh, Insanity, especially since I don't use Metagel, I kind of want to go for shields. Um, so, you know, let's see if we could buy all these sniper rifle piercing mods. Let's go, like, track all of these down. Hmm. Cerberus armor looks pretty cool for what I need, but, you know... All right, let's go uh, hunt down these sniper rifle piercing mods. Because it, it, like, when you buy it from one place, it just switches to another place. So, yep, see, there's the other one. And oh no, we have to go look for it somewhere else now. Uh, I wish it like stayed. Oh, what's this? I wish it like stayed still, like in the same spot. <laughs> Keeps moving around. Hey, also that uh, that raptor that I got. Um, if you if you miss it there, uh, you can't get it anywhere else. I don't believe. So uh, that that's interesting to note. If uh, if you wanted that. Oh damn it! Guess uh, I can't find the piercing mod. All right, let's go change my armor since uh, you know I like the blood dragon armor, but uh, it's not gonna work. Yeah, what's that? <laughs> These things look so stupid. What is this? I didn't even know I had this stuff. Okay, you know what? Uh, breathe out. <laughs> Shield regeneration. Power damage, power recharge, ammo capacity. Damn, that is hell. If that wasn't weapon damage, I don't know what that was. All right, is there anything to give shields? I guess not. Power, shot, and weapon. Hmm. 
This might actually help a good bit. Weapon damage and headshot damage. Shield boost. Power recharge, no. More weapon and headshot damage. Damn, these arms look kinda strange though. Melee damage. What the hell was that? More weapon damage. Hmm. I could use that shield boost. I don't really need ammo capacity. Damn, that one brand is just like everything damaged. Let's go for the shield boost. Uh, yeah, okay. I guess we'll go for the health. Alright, good stuff. Well, let's, let's see what we got here. Nah. Oh, so I guess the saber was uh, not a sniper rifle. Okay, whatever. Oh, power recharge 200. Hmm. Let's use the plasma shotgun. So it penetrates objects and does more damage to armor. Hmm, I don't know if I like it that much more. Hmm. Actually, I'm gonna go check this uh, this one more time. Sorry about that. I'm just gonna buy everything just for the sake of buying it. Actually, hmm, you know what, I might actually just go for the current effects since that thing is really, really, really good um, in the multiplayer, so we'll, we'll go try that out. Alright, let's go upgrade that current effects. So let's because I find the uh, what's it called the uh, get plasma shotgun a little heavy, and this thing uh, does its job quite well, at least based on the multiplayer. So uh, we'll we'll try this out for a mission, see how it goes. I think. Uh, the better power recharge will definitely uh, work into my favor. So, um, yeah, I guess uh, we'll go with that. See how, see how that goes.